welcome to Screen Dark. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to get all of Screen Dark content. Today we're talking about a 2017 movie, Geo GMO Storm. Now this fires in 10 days. I saw it on TV. Although, depending when you watch this, it might be already off. But I don't think you'd be missing much out of this movie. Now let's say it's an action sci-fi thriller. Which... I would give it, it gives it action, it does have the sci-fi, but I was not thrilled at all about this movie. It's a very basic disaster movie. There's so many better ones to watch, so I don't see why you would waste your time on that. They have some uh, main, uh, main name actors. The special effects are not that bad. The camera shots are good, but the characters are basic, really bland uh, you really don't pull you in. What they should do is, um, should have done, is uh, get a couple characters where they build up the backstories, where you cared about the characters and what happened to them, and then have a couple characters to tell their story along the way. So you're, you're invested all the way through this uh, movie. But this movie is so boring. With all the special effects and stuff, it, it still was like, just was not interesting to me. Uh, but if you're looking for a good National Disaster movie, there's plenty. Volcano, Dante's Peak, uh, Armageddon, uh, Deep Impact, uh, Twister. So, I'm just saying, name a few. Now, this movie is better than a lot of really bad Master Disaster movies, but with the money and the effort they should have put in this, they, they could have done a lot better. So, I give this two, well, no, it ain't that bad. I'll give it three stars out of five. It's just a basic movie. And I hope y'all have a great day, and remember, keep on screaming.